Today is the Oscars, so I'm going to tell you who I feel deserves each award. Now, I'm only going to do the ones that I am familiar with. I won't be doing documentary, short films, foreign film, etc. Let's jump into it. First of all will be visual effects. For visual effects, Dawn of the Planet of the Apes, which I actually believe somewhere around here, but I got it for Christmas just because I really enjoyed it, and I just that Rise of the Planet of the Apes was good, but to be honest, Dawn was incredible and they did a great job with CGI. Next up is adapted story writing, which is taking a true story and making it a little different to fit the to fit into a film. And with that I have to say it goes to The Theory of Everything, which is about Stephen Hawking and his ex-wife Jane and how they met in their life together. And I just felt that was a very good movie and I am obsessed with Stephen Hawking lately. <laughs> Next up, original story writing where it was completely what the director felt would be good. And I give that Oscar to Nightcrawler. I actually watched this a couple nights ago and I might be because I think that um, Jake Gyllenhaal did a great job playing as Lou, but the story was just great and I really enjoyed how the development of the story went and how well they went with it. Next up, sound editing, and to that I give Interstellar. Um, I have watched some of it, not all of it yet, but from what I've watched, they did a great job putting the sound in and just making the suspense alive with sound. Now this is a original music, which is also in the Oscars, I've realized. Um, my mom showed me this recently, and it is by Glenn Campbell. He has recently gotten diagnosed with Alzheimer's. And so it's called I'm Not Gonna Miss You, which is basically about how even though everyone will be sad when he dies, it's just true. He's not going to miss them because he will not recognize them when he dies. And it's just very sad, but it's also a great song. Next up, you may have guessed production design. I give it to Interstellar. Once again, they just did a great job producing this movie. Though it's sci-fi, they did a great job. It's almost non-sci-fi just because of how unique it is, and you know, it's kind of a concept that's been played out a lot. They did a great job renewing it, or redeeming it, you might say. Next up is makeup. Once again, you may have guessed Guardians of the Galaxy, which I thoroughly enjoyed. They just did a great job at making the aliens look alien, and making Tisa look as his character did making Zoe Sadena or Dalsana or something like that. Sadena, I think. Making her, once again, look alien. Just overall costume was amazing. And now, costume design. Costumes, yes, Guardian Galaxies was great, but I give it to Into the Woods because I enjoyed the movie. It was fun, it was refreshing, and I just felt they did a good job. It, even though it's not a big alteration, but they kind of modernized it and made it not look so, like, 1600 style which was good. Now I move on to directing, which I give to The Imitation Game. They just did a great job moving the story along, keeping it going, and keeping the suspense and the interest right where it should be, which is with the stories, making you care for the characters, and the director just did a great job at keeping the story entertaining, I guess you could say. This one is animated film. This one I recently saw Big Hero 6, and it was just a great movie. I really enjoyed how they brought in some Japanese Marvel. I just think they honestly did a great job with it and almost indescribable because it's just such a good job they've done. Moving on to the more known events, we're going on to supporting actress, which I give to Meryl Streep for her role in Into the Woods. She did a great job in it, even though she is known to be a great actress, but which is obvious, but I still feel she did a great job and kept everyone entertained with her character. Next up, supporting actor, which I give to Mark Ruffalo, who was in Fox Shop. And I just feel he did a great job in it and he's just a very good actor, like he's in the Avengers of the Hulk, but it just shows how like superhero or drama or tragedy or comedy, he just has a very wide acting spectrum. Now on to the lead. Actresses and actors. Actress goes to Rosamund Pike for Gone Girl. I watched Gone Girl this past month and I just thought, well, she did a great job making you hate her character, 
later in the film. But in a way, that's kind of what makes him good, like J.K. Lamont. I liked how psychotic he could get, but it made me hate him. But that's what made me love the character more, which is what she did, and she did a wonderful job making you hate her by the end of it. This one is the actor in lead role, which goes to Eddie Redmayne for The Theory of Everything. Once again, it's my favorite movie at the moment. I just am obsessed with Stephen Hawking recently, and I just feel like they did good at showing the sad parts of his life, but also making showing how Stephen kept up the and tried to bring light to his own situation. Sure, I'm going to give The Theory of Everything. I enjoyed the way they told the story of Stephen Hawking, how they kept sad moments a little upbeat, and just how it really showed how, with his disability, he's still such a great mind, and he can just, he overcomes every obstacle he has ever had in life, and it's very inspirational. And like I said, it's my favorite film this year, and lately I'm just obsessed with Stephen Hawking. So, thank you for watching. Comment below who you think you would give an Oscar to if you were a part of the Academy, and why. So, comment if you feel I should do more videos about award ceremonies coming up, like Grammys or Oscars, and Golden Globes, Emmys, you name it. So, like this video if you enjoyed, and you can follow me on Twitter at McAfee underscore Ethan, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye!